Hi, I'm David Cantor with the Law Offices of David Michael Cantor. Today I'm going to talk about how to post a bond at the 4th Avenue Jail in the city of Phoenix. Now this is sometimes called the Madison Street Jail because it's at Madison and 4th Avenue. It's on the southeast corner of that intersection. Now, if you go there after hours, you basically press the button at the double doors that are in the northwest corner of the building. You go downstairs to the bonds and fines window. Now when you go there, they'll allow you to post bond almost 24 hours a day. They'll let you do it from 6.30 in the morning to 1.45 in the afternoon, but then they take a break until 2.45. So from 1.45 to 2.45 in the afternoon, they're going to be shut down. Also from 9.45 at night to 10.45 at night, they'll be shut down for one hour, and from 5.30 in the morning till 6.30 in the morning, they'll be shut down. But the other 21 hours, you'll be able to post bond. Now when you go there, you're not allowed to post bond with cash, credit, card or check. You have to use three different payment methods, a postal money order, a cashier's check, or a Western Union money order. Now I'll talk about all three. Postal money order you can only get at the post office and it has to be made out to MCSO. A cashier's check, go to your bank, get it, uh, make sure it's made out to MCSO, which stands for Maricopa County Sheriff's Office, and you need to get a business card with a phone number from the person you got the cashier's check from. Because when you take it to the jail, they will call and verify that it's a real cashier's check. Obviously, that's not a great idea if you go and post it after hours or on a weekend. So you may want to use the third method. That is a Western Union money order. Now, Western Union money orders, you cannot get them at Circle K, but you can get them at Fry's uh, grocery stores, 7-Eleven, or Safeway. Now, Fry's grocery store, there's one at 7th Avenue in Camelback. That's uh, closest to the jail. 7-Eleven, there's 7th Avenue in Indian School. And Safeway is 5th Avenue in Osborne. And I'm going to tell you how each of these three work. At the Fry's uh, store, you can get the money orders in increments of $750. Anything over $3,000 needs a state ID, a driver's license, or a passport. Actually, anything over $29.99. If you're over $10,000, a manager may have to approve it. And you can pay for the money order with cash or debit card. Not a credit card, just cash or debit card. In regards to the 7-Eleven, it's cash only. You're going to need an ID and a social security number. And you can do this in increments of $500. Um, also, if it's after 8 p.m. but before 6 a.m., you can only get a money order for up to $2,000. Okay? With Safeway, you can get increments of $500. Anything over $29.99 requires a state ID. There's no limit on how much you can get, which is nice, and you can only use cash. And that's at that particular Safeway store. Some Safeway stores won't even go above the $29.99. Now, at Safeway, you can get those from 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. Uh, but not after 8 p.m. That's why Fry's grocery stores are normally the best. I suggest using them. Now, in regard to a City of Phoenix bond, they're a little bit different. If you are arrested by City of Phoenix, they'll take you down to the 4th Avenue Jail. And in order to post a bond for the City of Phoenix, you go to the same jail, but you go to the north uh, center doors. Not the northwest corner, but the north center doors. There you're going to go in, uh, and you're going to go downstairs. Now this is only if it's after hours. If it's City of Phoenix and it's Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 p.m., you're going to go over to 300 West Washington. That's where the court is. If it's Monday through Friday and it's after 5 p.m., I hate to tell you this, but you're stuck all the way to the next morning. If it's a weekend or a holiday, that's when you go to the 4th Avenue Jail to post the bond. And if you go there, you're going to go in that north door. They will only accept payments from noon to 9 a.m. Okay, so noon to 9 a.m. on weekends or holidays. Um, basically, you're going to make the checkout to City of Phoenix, and you're going to you need the name of the person and the date of birth of the person, and you're going to provide that. If you're posting the bond for a county case or a felony, that's going to be to MCSO, and again, you're going to need the name and date of birth. Now, with all of this information, this is accurate as of today's date, which happens to be uh, May 20th, 2014. If you're watching this video later in time, I suggest you call the Maricopa County Sheriff's Office Information Management Services line or the jail line. The phone number is 602-876-0322 and they'll verify if all this information is still accurate. Um, now, 
once you get your friend or your loved one or family member out of jail, that's when you need to hire a lawyer. And I'm going to ask that you give us a call. You can either go to our website at www.dmcantor.com, contact us through a web form, or you can call us at 602-307-0808, and we will go ahead and set up a meeting and get you in to meet with us. It doesn't cost anything to meet with us, but it takes about 30 minutes, and we'll go over your case from top to bottom and hopefully find a way out of this thing for you. Again, all of this information, I know I talk quickly, it is on our website, on our page that's titled How to Post Bond at the Fourth Avenue Jail, and it'll give you specific details. But once you do get your friend or loved one out, please call us, please come and see us. I look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.